Now suppose we take the question. The linear mass density of a thin road AB of length L varies as Kx, where X is counted from and A. Let its mass is M. Find moment of inertia about A. So suppose this is the road of length L. This is the length L. And this end is A and this is B. We have to find the moment of inertia about the axis passing through A. And it is given that that uh, mass density is not constant but vary with L as Kx. That means if we take a part x here at distance x we take a part dx this length is dx then different at different distances mass mass of the road is different so it is some more typical than the earlier case m is the mass of road so mass will be equal to so integral dm we take an elementary mass and integrate it we will get the total mass we integrate it what is dm dm is the density is kx that means kx x at x distance density is kx and that is it means the it is the mass per unit length and then we multiply it with the length that we have taken x dx so it is it will give the dm so it will be equal to and we will take to find the total mass we will take x equal to 0 to l this point is x equal to 0 and this point is x equal to l we have to integrate from x equal to 0 to x equal to l so it will give k is constant it will come out integral x equal to 0 to l x dx and uh, x is we have to integrate this x so x is x square by 2 and integrate from 0 to l and put here it is l square by 2 minus 0 upper limit first minus and lower limit and simply we will get half k l square <clears throat> now after finding this mass now we find the moment of inertia moment of inertia we have told is integral of dm into and distance of this elementary mass from the axis of rotation here we are taking the x so we are writing here x square so it is equal to what is dm dm we have find that kx is the mass density and that is mass per unit length and length is dx that means we will get this thing and we have to integrate from x equal to 0 to l constant term is taken out and remaining is x cube dx that is equal to k into x to the power 4 by 4 integrating from 0 to l so it will come k into l to the power 4 by 4 minus 0 that means it is 1 by 4 k l raised to the power 4 using the formula because here k is a term which we have to remove so to remove the k we use the formula which we have calculated for mass of the rod so that is equal to half into half k l square into l square and half k l square is m so we can write it is half m l square this is the moment of inertia of the road which is non-uniformly non distribution of the mass with linear mass density kx and moment of inertia will be calculated as half m l square this is about this now we have suppose another case in this question case 2 suppose it is asked find the moment of inertia about the axis through b for b it is parallel to the axis at a because this is a this is b so axis through b is parallel to a but we can't directly apply the parallel axis theorem here because x equal to 0 is not the center of mass of this rod 
for calculating the moment of inertia about b we have to first find the center of mass for center of mass we use the formula x dm by dm it is equal to integral x equal to 0 to l x into and density we have already told that kx it is given and multiplied by the length so it gives the dm divided by integral x equal to 0 to l kx into dx and now we simplify it k is constant it will be taken out and x into x x square its integral will be or we can write it as 0 to l x square dx by k integral x equal to 0 to l x dx k is cancelled out on integrating it will come x 3 by 3 0 to l and it will come x square by 2 0 to l substituting the limits l cube by 3 minus 0 by l square by 2 minus 0 that is equal to l cube by 3 into 2 by l square l square will be cancel out so it will come 2l by 3 that means center of mass is at distance 2l by 3 from a so first we have to find the moment of inertia about the center of mass that means our case is now is this that this is the road this is the a this is the axis through a about which we have found the moment of inertia equal to half ml ml square and this is center and this is the center of mass that means this distance is 2l by 3 so we have to find the moment of inertia about the center of mass first for that i center of mass i a equal to i center of mass plus m into d square this is the formula i a we, we already found 1 by 2 m l square and i center of mass we have to found plus total mass is m it is given in the question and d distance between a and center of mass is 2l by 3 so we will use 2l by 3 square that means half m l square equal to icm plus 4 by 9 m l square or i center of mass equal to 1 by 2 m l square minus 4 by 9 m l square taking lcm it is 18 and it is 9 minus 8 ml square that is equal to ml square by 18 so this is the moment of inertia of the road about the center of mass and after calculating this moment of inertia about the center of mass we can found the moment of inertia about the axis b this is the point b and axis through it we use parallel axis theorem using parallel axis theorem we can write ib equal to i center of mass plus md square i center of mass we have calculated that it is ml square oblique 18 plus total mass is m now center of mass has the distance from the axis at b is l minus 2l by 3 that is equal to l by 3 so we put here l by 3 square that means it comes m l square by 18 plus m l square by 9 taking lcm it comes 3 by 18 that means 1 by 6 m l square so it is the moment of inertia about the point b similarly if it is asked what is the moment of inertia at the center of the road that means again we can use parallel axis theorem 
say center is suppose it is the c so we can say ic equal to i center of mass plus md square i center of mass is we have calculated that it is 1 by 18 ml square plus now mass of rod into distance between center and center of mass this distance so distance is here distance is distance of center mass is 2l by 3 and distance of center is l by 2 center will be mid at midpoint so it will be 6 4l minus 3l that is l by 6 so distance between c and center of mass is l by 6 we put here l by 6 and square and add it will come 1 by 18 ml square plus 1 by 36 ml square and lcm is 36 3 ml square it is equal to 1 by 12 ml square so in this way using the parallel axis theorem and perpendicular axis theorem we can find the moment of inertia of different cases next we will take the moment of inertia of the hollow and the solid cylinder